started. Sorry for the voice jump scare there, guys. We were having some trouble with maybe the music. We didn't have music during the break. But we're ready to go now. And over here in the bottom left-hand corner, the blue Terran player, it's going to be Terror. And in the top right, our red Terran, Ultra. Here on Broken Circuit, Cross Map TVT. This is going to be possibly the longest game of this entire day here of the round of eight. The entire round of eight, that's what I meant to say. We still have uh, background music going. Is that, uh, no, no, no. Is that going it on? It should be fixed now. Okay. Background music is off. Keep your comments coming, guys. We, uh, we're doing our best here to make up the best stream possible. But there are always technical if difficulties, especially with audio and production on such a scale here that we're working with. We've got our player cameras. We've got the F, uh, the first person VODs. We've got uh, the caster camera. We've got the caster mic. Everything is working together here because of the man sitting to my left, Zero, putting everything together and all the other... Uh, players and fans of the game that have been working tirelessly here at the BSL to make this event run smoothly. And, uh, well, we've got completely mirrored builds here from both Terra and Ultra. Nothing out of the ordinary to start things off here. Both players just wanting to get off to a good start. Yes? Give us some commentary on the current modern you know, TV team and what, what do you expect from this matchup? And if someone made you, whom would you bet on? Like on Ultra or on Terror? Oh, first of all, hi everyone. He is here. So, well, I'm actually don't have any preferences uh, either to Ultra or Terror. And it seems that they both choose to play standard game nothing crazy so far they both clicking 500 plus APM so um, one thing I noticed that both players oh wow this is two SCV on guys yes. so is this terror or ultra I can see it's terror, it's terror. It's terror. So okay like two fact Wow, it can be anything. It can be two, two fact and... Yeah, two fact. And S second factor just, just, yeah, okay. Nice, that's pretty unexpected from Terror. So, he, sorry, he either plays super aggressive or super passive. Uh, that's what I not noticed. But we'll see where we get in the later stages. So Ultra's gonna go ahead and throw down his command center. Are we expecting... Terra to go for a siege tank push or is he going to just do huge amounts of vultures try to overwhelm here or what are we looking at I'm oh, sorry sorry can you repeat that is it going to be a, a siege tank push or just mass vulture play here from Terra what would you play in this iteration um well he plays what, what would I play yeah. uh in this situation I would already think that I'm behind as a terror so he he chose pretty much that's right bad strategy actually he okay. he wants to gamble yeah and looks like the only options here is uh, mass wolves mass vultures so like mine up everything and destroy no the no no, stuff no. Uh, with w with speed right, so okay. speed yeah and okay. the second option is uh, to Taking advantage of and take a position. So okay, I'm already miscalculated. He he wants to contain. So a tank push it is. Here we go, Terror going across the map here. He is uh, gonna set up as close to at the front as he can. Ultra does not have a bunker, so these Marines are gonna get shredded by that tank. He needs to get more production online as quickly as possible. He does have two 
factories coming up here, but the common counter to this, I believe, is actually a Wraith. Although we don't see that on the right on, on the way. Is that right, SPX? Yeah, we won't see that right, right now. We won't see that. And coming in here, gonna lose both of his Marines very, very quickly. Great target fire here by Ultra and uh, picking off the Marines right away is the best way to deal with an attack like this. However, the tank cannot be denied. It's a strong unit. It's going to stand firm here at the front and bully away these uh, vultures here. Setting up mines now. They're not going to be very useful against the SCVs that are being pulled off the line. Uh, they're more so going to be there for Goliaths and tanks that might be popping out. But Ultra just spamming out vultures here as much as possible. He's going to go ahead and repair uh, his uh, vultures here and more rallies coming forward for terror. He doesn't have any SCVs with this though So he can't actually repair this tank and make this a Dedicated push here. Do you think it's time to head home for terror? Or is he just uh, is he just gonna keep going with this? Yeah Terror should keep going definitely because uh, ultra actually made a mistake uh, I think uh, because three factory uh, pretty much uh, counter what what terror does right now and ultra should just uh, save some vultures and this is what he's doing right now okay and ultra now has a big advantage he's gonna have almost nothing to defend this counter-attack as well just one tank one goliath and a couple of vultures good target down there by ultra and now he's gonna back away with the speed done, he should have uh, mines coming up here soon. And going to go for a counterattack. Terra a little bit out of position here. These vultures can slip right past this. Trying to run up this ramp, but a good block on the ramp here. Three have gone down so far. Can he get any more? Four, five. Very, very good damage here for Ultra. And he's been rewarded for going the more normal path down this uh, tech tree. You know, going for uh, an immediate CC here, building into three factories. The more standard play wins out so far, and Terran now behind nearly 20 supply. He's not going to be feeling good here moving forward into the mid game. Full map control goes to Ultra, as he should have mines being set up very, very soon. Terra can do nothing but sit back in his natural with some siege tanks and just hope for the best. Yeah, Ultra already had an advantage, and with those Vultures, he got a much bigger advantage right now, and definitely he is gonna to contain. He building right now, or already built four factories, and he will mine out whole map. I don't know what Terror has to do in this situation. It's pretty hard for him right now. We'll see. Let's see. The Terra is just building Goliaths at the moment and Ultra with full map control and now four factories online. I don't see the... Uh, oh, okay. The barracks are still floating over everything. I think all the uh, anti-air for Ultra has been dealt with. I don't think he has any right now. He's just been building a huge amount of vultures and, you know, sealing off the base here. Is it time to try to contain for Ultra? Does he just pop out some tanks and... Uh, use this position to to get that high ground outside of the third base yeah uh, he knows he had a lot of mites uh, in front of his uh, second uh, CC uh, he just want to uh, he, he waits for the scan and uh, collect some tanks and then go to contain terror that's why he's sitting right now and doing nothing <laughs> Actually. the main goal of uh Terror's build this game was to get the contain on Ultra's natural, but now the, the tides have turned. The tables have flipped here. Terror in danger of being contained. Looks like he ate a big mine shot there, trying to clear things out with Goliath. It's a bit unfortunate as he tried to push that high ground. Now he's going to bring forward some SUVs to deal with that. Oof! Eating one mine, almost losing a tank. Ultra. Got to be a little bit more cautious here pushing forward. He doesn't have that comsat station just yet, but it's on the way. And the moment that he's able to clear these mines, we're going to see them, uh, those tanks move across the map and start to put the, the hurt onto Terran. I still don't see any anti-air. Anti is there a, 
argument to be made for Terra going, you know, more heavy into into wraiths or going for some uh, more you know air based play so that he can break this contain. You mean for Terra? Yeah, wait, for Terra. Wait, there was a drop here. <laughs> Drop's gonna come down. He's gonna start to kill some SCVs here. The four Goliath drop does deal with uh, SCVs pretty quickly. Does quite a bit of damage. Not, I don't think as heavy damage as uh, Vultures can do, but he's gonna be able to run back out of this position. Hasn't built any raids here, but he's harassing with double dropship. Another drop coming in towards the third base of Ultra and simultaneously dropping here at the natural. Okay, he's going for the main. Tank there on the low ground going to start to deal damage to these vultures. Secondary tank going to be dropped and picked up once again. Both of them now picked up and evacuating this position. Ultra dealing with quite a lot on his side of the map right now. He hasn't been able to come across and set up that contain. But if any of these units go down, really Terror has to deal damage and keep all of these units alive so that he can stop uh, Ultra from containing him back at home. Yeah, two, two dropships is actually a great idea to distract the Ultras because he cannot contain right now and he has have to defend all these units inside his main. And actually, if you watch the supplies, uh, Terror, I think Terror succeeded with that because Ultra, Ultra da, uh, don't progress in his build order he just built scvs and actually doing nothing in, in the game and terror got uh used this, this time to get a little bit advantage not enough uh yet but looks like we have move, move out by terror and terror is moving forward and now the possibility of a contain has been kind of dashed here for ultra Buying that time with the dropships, and I think they both made it out. Yeah, with most of the units intact, he's actually killed quite a few tanks back at home for Terra. This double drop play works out very, very well for him. And he's going to be able to continue to utilize those. Will he just take a position here in the uh, in the middle of the map? No. Instead, heading up towards the 12 o'clock, he's going to try and beat Ultra there. Set up tanks and stop this fourth base from coming online ultra already with the third though he's still ahead even if he loses his base but this is frustrating for ultra right now he had a big advantage but it's being slowly encroached upon by terror yeah i'm actually amazed how terror plays and uh his decisions because uh this game looked like that uh ultra should have um um uh it's a terror who one who ha had to re react, but right now you see that terror is super confident with his style, and here and there, wow, even drop, no up, <laughs> just about losing that dropship. But he's gonna be able to siege up here in the main base and deal a lot of damage. There's some Goliaths mixed in. Oh, the Goliath. Oh, oh, that mine. Oh, he's got to target the mine. Target the mine! No! The mine connects. All these tanks are going to go down. A very, very good mine hit there for Ultra. Dealing with that drop play and actually coming forward here. Terra is going to start to contain. He's 20 supply below his opponent, but he's on his opponent's side of the map. He's on Ultra's side of the map. Starting to get up on this high ground and maybe able to contain Ultra here. This is surprising to say the least. Yeah, but uh, meanwhile, Ultra has a lot of factories and he already knows what to expect from Terror. So this contain should not work in an ideal situation. But given that Terror is so much active on the map, he... W I don't know what to expect, but looks like we gonna have a long game. And that is great because it's TVT. <laughs> Yeah, TVTs have seemed to get shorter and shorter in recent years. There have been more and more aggression in the early game. People have, yeah, uh, players have been able to get bigger and bigger advantages through the Vulture Wars and that type of early push that we saw out of Terror. But this time, it looks like things are about to sort of normalize here as Ultra tries to push out of this container. That's so many tanks, and this is a wide uh, concave here for Ultra to try and push through. He's got a lot of vultures, but they're kind of haphazardly coming out on the map here, dropping mines on top of this, but 
It doesn't look like any of these are going to connect. Everything is dealt with very nicely by Terra, and he holds his contain ultra. Still stuck here. Wow, that's a lot of factories pumping away, though. He should have another force to try this move out once again very, very soon. A full 30 supply advantage for Ultra right now. Yeah, as you can see that Ultra is on his way to 2-0, I mean upgrades, yeah. and Terror is just at 0-0. So if Ultra can break this contain, it would be so hard for Terror to move, move so so easy like he did at the early stage of the game so right now ultra is preparing uh, for some harass and what do you think about those vultures Diane? the vultures heading around the top side of the map yeah well they're gonna be able to throw down some mines at least maybe get some uh rallying units that are coming across the map if you can get a few tanks you know two three tanks get caught by these mines then Maybe it gives you a better chance of breaking through. He also alternatively could come over here and try to harass his third base, but he's moving out now. One vulture or one one wraith here. Vulture's gonna hit from behind. A bunch of mines being set up, and I don't think he's gonna be able to kill all the mines this time before they do explode. Big explosion there on the top side, and Ultra are gonna break through with just an overwhelming number of units smashing through that containment and terror. He's trying, struggling to get his army in position to bring things forward, but more mines here going to connect on tanks. Those, That's that uh, earlier setup that you were talking about. The vultures in the middle of the map able to set up those mines that caught the tank on the retreat, and he's going to continue to push forward here. The high ground advantage making Ultra's attack. Oh my god, that was a big explosion though. That mine connection plus a couple of hits from those tanks killing off the weakened ones and these wraiths now can go to town all these damaged tanks are going to get picked off very very quickly but still a massive supply lead here for ultra as he pushes forward yeah right now by the way it was really great deblocking de the his contain from terror ultra is doing super great job and right now he has a lot of units he can just a click actually yeah he's just gonna keep sending over rallies across the map endless endless rallies coming forward here uh tanks gonna siege up a little bit slow from ultra but he's gonna have mines and vultures available to help pick those off these wraiths are dealing a lot of damage though all these injured tanks are just gonna end up going down for ultra i think he's gonna stall out here unless he's got a bunch of Goliaths heading across the map to try and support this. Yeah, Ultra just refused to build a Goliath. And now we see uh, two of them, it's completely enough to handle those three rights. And as I said before, he with those factory count, he just can a, a click. And it will be super hard for Terror, especially because he lost so many tanks right now. I don't know how many machine shops he has, maybe three, just like Ultra, but oh my god. If he loses this third, it will be absolutely impossible to get through Terror. Terror coming out to try and save this base. He does have those raids, but they're being picked off slowly by single Goliath. That one Goliath, I think he's gonna get like three, four kills on these raids. Kind of crazy how powerful Goliaths are in comparison to Wraiths and one-on-one -on -one, it's not even a contest Tanks setting up here on this high ground. This is the high ground that Terror tried to take over Ultra's third and now Ultra is dominating this position uh, Stealing this spot away now Terror bringing up more vultures actually falling back in a way Ultra not going for this high ground instead He's gonna rotate over towards that base in the center left a great decision here realizing that there's too much to push through from Terra at that position. He's just going to find another location uh, where things are a little bit easier and he's going to break that base, kill that location. Nothing that Terra can do about it. GG. As he loses the fourth, he taps out. Ultra going to take game number one. All right, so from the very beginning, it felt like uh, Terror was behind with that push. Do you think he's gonna try a move like that again? The two factory play? Um, no, I think uh, actually uh, both players seems to at this first game uh, seems they 
just checking uh, each other skill right now because it is LAN and uh, Terror as he is usually doing some interesting stuff just try to mentally um, maybe how to say it um, to make Ultra afraid of the future games uh, so it's a really cool game I must say and uh, can't wait to see another yeah, skill check there from Terror, making sure that Ultra has his defenses ready, and the drop play was really fantastic. Uh, pulling Ultra apart there and actually giving Terror a good chance of winning that game after such a rough opener. Uh, it's going to be hard to hold that kind of drop play if both players are even on supply, and Terror is able to pull off that type of multitasking. So uh, we'll see. In this next one, game number two between Terror and Ultra, will Terror be able to get himself through the early game without get falling into a deficit? We're going to see a big late game TVT here. It's Neo Luna, our next map, which is uh, one of the smaller maps that we've got here. It's a, uh, what, 14 base map? Okay, hold on. We're just about ready to get in this next game. We're going to start game number two. Talk about the map. Right after the intros here, let's go. Neo Luna, top right hand corner. We've got Terror. Oh, bottom right hand corner, excuse me. And bottom left, it's Ultra. So horizontal spawns here. A little bit different than cross spawns. Uh, how do you feel about this map, Neo Luna? Well, it's pretty old school. I really love it because um, in old days, uh, everyone played, especially at this map, Mass Wolves. Mass Vultures. So pretty much I am expecting this kind of play because you need to get whole map and uh, uh, I mean take control of the whole map at the early stages so otherwise it will be super difficult to play in the next stage especially at this map. This map to me it feels like a fighting spirit with a low ground third. What do you what do you feel about that? Fighting spirit with a low ground third. Well, you've got that. With that, with that. I will argue with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you've got the the natural and then the bridge leading into the main. Or is there a bridge there? No, there's no bridge leading into the center of the map. Uh, the third base is quite a long distance away from the the natural and it's unbuildable terrain which is super annoying to try and block drops from getting into your main but we'll see if that comes into an effect here uh getting the fp first person vod of our uh terran player down the bottom right terror he's going to be going for just a normal build to start things off i hope he doesn't go for the two factory play again i want to see a long game yeah, definitely. I, I, I believe he won't play again the same stuff. Maybe... Uh, Wraith is kind of expected, actually. Um, but we'll see who, where he will go scout first. Uh, as you can see, Ultra is already miss-scouting and won't know that he is right after him, right near him. It's like Terra doing the same thing, sending his SCV to the north so both players will probably get the, the last possible scout on their opponent and uh, maybe not even make it up into their opponent's base so if there's a marine on the ramp here we're going to have very little information going forward a factory being thrown down we've got one SCV on each refinery here this is looking like a normal game and what is a normal game? oh no three SCVs once again, is he going to go for a starport this time? Starport, maybe? Uh, I don't know, because right now it's uh, three SCVs on gas by Ultra. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> looks like it's a ping pong game where uh, Ultra going to do some interesting stuff to Terror. And this is going to be a three, two factory. Oh, oh my god. Okay. This time, Ultra 
Going for the two factory. You know y'all Terran players look alike, right? <laughs> Got the two players mixed up there. Yeah, Ultra putting his own pressure on this time. He's going to go ahead and maybe go for just Mass Vulture. This, it, it, You were expecting the Mass Vulture play last time, but going with the tank. Are you, are you going to get a tank here or are you just going to go Mass Vulture? Oh, it can be anything. It can be three, three for Vultures. Oh, yeah, three for Vultures uh, and with following uh, with Goliath but um, I, I don't know because uh, Terror is doing right now machine shop so it's pretty much uh, good for him because he can with good micro he can defend uh, uh, yeah yeah he's, do, he's doing great great counter to what is ultra doing right now let's see how they micro, micro that it's all going to come down to the micro here. Terror has one tank. Ultra with a couple of vultures. He's going to be able to deny the CC from finishing. That's a huge win for Terror. There's no bunker here on the side of Terror. Ultra going to get that SCV kill again. Sniping the Marine as well. There's two Marines here. This is going way better already for Ultra than it went for Terror in the last game. Ultra... Going to push this tank back up onto high ground. Still denying the CC here. This is so painful right now for our Red Terran player. Terra is just trying to get the CC up online desperately. But he's not going to get it denied for, what is this, a third, fourth time at this point? He loses another SCV. Pulling the full line of SCVs now just to get that CC finished. He will transfer those workers now over here to the natural Looks like the Goliaths are stuck on this barracks. But they're going to be able to pick that off. And I think that was a reasonable amount of damage. But does Ultra need to keep attacking here in order to, to get himself on even footing? He's actually ahead in supply right now. But his CC is so much later. Oh, it will be so hard to attack for Ultra. And actually, the Terror is the one who is attacking. Wow. He feels so confident with his micro. Okay, he even built mines. Looks like he wants to contain. It's actually a good choice because uh, with the follow-up of the Ultra, it should be four Goliaths and then tanks to contain Terror themselves. But here we have a pretty unusual continue of the game. Yeah, interesting situation here. I haven't seen this exact game play out before. Terra gonna try and slip by. He's gonna eat a mine? No, the mine does not connect. Goliath on high ground. He's gonna deny the SCV. So <laughs> it's like going back and forth here pretty heavily. Uh, oh, these two, what? These two weren't killed. Are we serious? Oh my gosh, Ultra sending out another SCV to finish that command center, but he didn't finish off the vultures. Big mistake here. Allowing two vultures into his main base. What? the heck happened there feels like terror just uh or ultra just like lost vision what 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 happened i have no idea but it looks straight really strange pretty unfortunate for ultra he really wanted to to hit the timing with goliath but it's already he already failed with that and uh terror is pretty good position he knows that he the ultra is building a lot of galleas and with siege with terror he knows he is in super safe position i don't know what is terror is doing right now is it many factories or maybe starport let's find out okay i really like that play because terror terror playing actually uh, a bit old, old school. I, I like dropship play and uh, I'm pretty happy to see that in this this game too. Gonna go for a dropship here. Yeah, no chance of going Wraith with this many Goliaths out on the field right now. And tanks are going to move forward with this push. Ultra gonna try and do some sort of contain here. But this might be playing directly into the hands of Terror. Because this dropship could deal massive, massive damage while Ultra's out on the map. Trying to put on the pressure. Oh, Terror actually moving out now. He's got a lot of tanks to work with. And almost a 10 supply advantage already at this point in the game. Uh, Ultra. He's, good. He's got his work cut out for him here if he wants to bring this one back. 
and he's about to lose a bunch of workers at home as well. Is this just pure vulture here? I think it will be. And so many SCVs are going to fall for Ultra. The the two factory plays just not been working out for these players this, uh, this series so far. Yeah, as you can see, Ultra is trying so hard to not get contained by the Terror. Uh, he even moved out without siege and waited for Terror. Terror tried this, and but actually with this drop, what is Terror trying to do is to give... To, to make Ultra get back, and so Terror can contain the Ultra. But this is not what happens, actually. <laughs> So a bit of a positioning play for Terror, trying to force those units back into a defensive position. Ultra just about catches that dropship on the retreat, but he doesn't have Charon boosters and the Goliaths were slightly out of position. So a good dodge and weave there from Terror on the way out manages to keep his shuttle or his dropship alive, excuse me. And now getting into a third base here, he's gonna take the center right as we extend northward we may be getting into a, a long game here with another drop. Oh, wow. Terror going to go with another drop here. The double drop seems to be his MO. Wow. Terror is playing like Korean right now. Doing here and there his multi is super good. Mm, I don't think it's uh, it will do enough damage to end the game, but it definitely is super Super, super strong. Mm. By the way, seven kill tank there inside the main base. That did huge, huge damage. Killed off some tanks of Ultra, uh, some SCVs as well. And the supply uh, deficit continues to grow on the side of Ultra. He just doesn't have the SCV count. He doesn't have the control over this game that he had in the last one. His macro is behind. His, his factory count, I think, has is is caught up but he just can't produce at the same level of terror right now and terror getting this third base online his tank count is looking very very healthy he hasn't been able to contain just yet because ultra has got this forward position but he's been abusing him beautifully with these drops making life difficult for ultra and slowing him down sufficiently now i think that uh, ultra is not going to be able to take this third base for quite some time uh, Terror is going to continue to extend this lead and uh, whether we make it into a late game is completely up to the defense of Ultra here I think he's not going to be able to attack for quite some time don't you think? Yeah uh, Ultra actually trying to stabilize after those drops from Terror and look at that this Ultra is pretty smart Will he do some damage with them? I don't know but Terror is already building a lot of machine shops he's gonna take whole map with this micro I, I'm not sure Ultra is uh, what, what Ultra is doing because he is he doesn't build third maybe he don't have enough money for that but looks like we have a semi in push by Ultra will it work I don't know definitely not <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, definitely not. That's the uh, <laughs> professional opinion of SVX. Here comes all the vultures from the north. He needs like the most insane mine connections you've ever seen in your life to take on this army. 30 supply advantage for Terror. He's got rallies coming up to this position as well. He's holding a beautiful spot here on the right hand side and keeping all of his tanks really clumped up as well so there's no easy angle to hit this tank clump from i'll just gonna think about going around it actually heading down towards the south uh is there a way to get up and or to hit something in the main from here i don't think so there's like a lot of space uh between the third and the main so you can't just siege up on the low ground and hit stuff in the main no he's gonna back away from that position there's even a, a wraith out there so Ready for any sort of drop play into his own main. Terror continuing this drop over here at the center left as well. Yeah, as you can see, Ultra is not planning to do a third. Uh, common center. So he's gonna try to bust and looks like this is what will happen in a second. Will he bust this? I won't repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> Low chances, for sure. It, 
uh, Ultra, he's thinking about what is his highest option for success here. Breaking through might just give him the best chance of survival. There's not a lot of vultures with this, so maybe if he can get those mines, like I said, oh, almost takes a big mine there. Really, really close to eating that, but he's going to move around the top. He's got the uh, mobile army here moving back and forth, back and forth. Terra just waiting, waiting for a commitment, an overcommitment from his opponent. And then he's going to pounce on his natural and end this game. Still no third base. And Terror knows it. He knows the position of Ultra is bad. And there's no hope for a long game here with no third base. So here it comes. There's the big attack. Tons of Vultures running forward. A YOLO attack here from Ultra. No mines on top of this. GG is called. He gives up and Terror going to even this series one to one a great game from Terry here but again two factory play except from ultra this time yeah a ultra ultra has a plan and he he made it so he didn't uh, he, adapt. Di uh, he didn't adapt after those dropships uh, after some I it's better to say after those two vultures, it was super unfortunate for Ultra, but we'll see how the third game goes. Yeah, I I really wonder what happened with those two vultures in the natural. How did he miss that? He had like five, six Goliaths ready to go. They were brought back for the sole purpose of killing those two vultures, and he just missed out on that let the vulture slip into his main and they slowed his attack so much that really everything rested on that goliath attack working so much uh money went into those goliaths that weren't tanks very frustrating loss there and a, a frustrating turn of events uh for ultra now going into our next mech it's going to be paradiso and we're already ready right on into the next one are you ready i'm ready let's go <laughs> All right, SPX is ready. Our players are loaded into the game. I think I'm ready. So we're gonna get this started. Ultra here in the bottom right, the blue Terran player once again, and over in the bottom left-hand corner. Terror, fresh off of a win here. He's feeling good. Are we gonna see a two factory play again? <laughs> well, I certainly hope not. <laughs> I won't gamble on that right now. It looks like they are not like it looks like they both don't want to play long games and they both want to um, how to say that um, take an early advantage and then defend it like Terror did it before in that game. So maybe we'll see the standard game this time. Hmm, interesting. Well, we'll have to wait for the openers here, watching intently for the gas mining. Horizontal spawns on this map, Paradiso. Tell us a little bit about Paradiso in TVT on this map. Well, Par Paradiso TVT is made for long TVT games. <laughs> it's pretty hard to do to, to get an advantage at the early stages uh, and I know Ultra style is pretty much uh, do big uh, collect a big army and especially not use vultures in this map he, we played a bunch of games and uh, positioning is pretty pretty important right here because uh, a lot of bridges a lot of uh, high grounds and maybe we'll see here a dropship play because it's super, super great for dropship. Positioning always important in TVT, but especially so here with that big ridge in between both bases. If you manage to hold that ridge, you can transfer that into the center of the map. And also that six o'clock base goes to whoever holds this ridge. So we'll have to keep tabs on who's ends up controlling this area here 
as the dust settles, as the game progresses, Ultra now mining with just one worker on gas, Terra doing the same. So finally, we're not going to see an early two factory play out of either player. Yeah, Terra seems comfortable because he wants to take a little advantage at the early stages with the late scouting. This is uh, pretty interesting. Ultra seems a bit scared, maybe. Uh, maybe he has expected uh, some kind of A drugs from the beginning, I don't know. But this so early scout uh, at this big map is pretty unusual. But looks like we have a standard game. Two Rhines. Two rain. Is it one rain? No, it's both two Rhines and in two common center. Yeah. I think I saw a third rein from, uh, yeah, three rein marines from uh, Ultra. So just that tiny marine advantage. He did take some damage. Oh, he's going to see this. He's going to see this. Oh, terror getting spotted here. He was trying to build a starport with a very injured SCV, but gets picked off. That's going to be painful. A painful loss. He wanted to get some early vulture damage maybe or actually some rates probably going to be produced from that to get that damage to slow down the academy uh, slow down the armory excuse me tripping all over myself here but uh, now he's just going to throw down a second factory it hurts to cancel that building in the early game well it hurts to cancel it uh if it if it, if it at the later stages of the um, construction, but right now I don't think Terror is pretty upset with that. But Ultra has done a great job because uh, he knows uh, Terror style. Uh, lately on the ladder, Terror plays a lot this kind of proxy starport. So, well, it's pretty good that he checked all the possibilities uh, that could come from Terror. Right, right now we see uh, mass vultures from Terror and a pretty standard game will, from Ultra. I mean, by standard I mean old school, I guess. Because will he build a f armory right now? Will he build a Goliath? That's the question. We should be seeing a tank here pretty soon for Ultra and I would love to see him build a, a bunker here at the front because the mass of vultures that's going to be hitting him soon will be painful if he's only got one tank it takes way too long to kill you know six seven vultures they may end up even like surrounding and finishing off that tank or just killing a ton of workers ultra moving out right now i don't think this is the right choice can it it can't be the right choice to move out right now against this right spx yeah it can be the right choice it seems well, uh, I'm not sure what what is Ultra is doing. What Ultra is doing right now is it speed or mines? Or will he gonna contain or just uh, two tanks and mass wolves with speed to to catch some timings? Uh, but it should work actually against three world, three mass world. But let's see. It's pretty interesting that Ultra is out already. To me, this feels very bad. Um, I feel like Terror is going to overwhelm. Mines do nothing against Mass Vulture. Uh, but, you know, Ultra pushing forward very aggressively. He's here in the middle of the map with three Vultures. Get absolutely wrecked. There's the speed. Okay, now's the time to move forward for Terror. Terror should be able to push forward here. Pick off the Vultures of Ultra and potentially run into the natural in the main there's just nothing blocking right now here he comes lots of vultures should be changing his rallies right now to the front of ultra's base gonna pick off these vultures before the tanks can even fire a shot now that all the vultures are nearly dead will he continue this push i think he can dive in target down the marines and maybe slip by into the main with a few vultures let's see if he's gonna go for it he's got a little bit more production right now than ultra and he's got that vulture advantage by a lot. Looks like he's not really willing to take this fight, though, with that number of tanks in the natural, plus the marines and the vultures that are popping out. He just wants to set up some mines and maybe contain for now. Yeah, I wonder what... Oh my god, these vultures will 
Will he float? Oh, okay. Okay, he's gonna back away. Um, I was shocked that he was gonna go in there at that time because now the 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 factories are online and the vulture count is is getting higher. So uh, ultra should be able to block any everything. The vultures will take long enough to kill that the tanks will be able to deal their damage and Terra's not gonna be able to get through that quickly enough to uh, you know slip into the main with enough vultures to deal some real damage and ultra just kind of sitting back. He's gonna chill in his main for now. This should be siege mode that's being researched at the moment. Uh, there's nothing else to to research at this point. Terra's already got mines and speed, and he's pumping out tanks. So if he's allowed to move forward, I think there's enough mines maybe for Ultra to to hold things back. But if he's allowed to move forward and get up in in front of the natural of Ultra, that could be a bad situation. Ultra setting up mines over here at this potential fourth base for Terra. I feel like Terra should be able to move forward and at least take the ridge line. Uh, now losing one SCV here, that's a little bit unfortunate, but just going to deny or slow down that third base for a few moments. Coming out now with the scan, going to remove all these mines. Terra going to do the same thing on the ridge line, and it looks like he's going to be able to secure that position. So a uh, big positional advantage, I feel, for Terra in holding this ridge, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. And... As you can see, mines were cleared at the side of the bridge. So the trap uh, that was set by Ultra didn't work pretty well. And now um, we have the Terror who is, um, who's got a pretty good position. And Ultra is going for two starports or was it Kamen Center? It's a command center there. Oh, command center and uh, barracks. So no star ports just yet for Ultra. He will need those uh, to, to add that on eventually because you do want to get into plus two. Uh, Terror a little bit further down that route. He's already got the uh, armory there spinning and the uh, star port on the way. He's shown a big affinity for drop play throughout the series so far. So we may end up seeing some drops coming out here. I uh, wonder if Ultra will throw down his own starport to try and counter that with some wraiths that can be very powerful in this matchup. And we haven't seen a whole lot of them built uh, thus far this series. Still holding this high ground. Again, just a, a massive advantage uh, positionally to hold this location. Yeah, clocks are ticking for Ultra and he has to do something about that because a lot of places are uh, controlled by Terror right now and he can't... Uh, Terror can take a fourth pretty easily and Ultra can do anything about that. Uh, as you can see, Ultra is not doing any third. Will he do the same thing as the last game? I'm not sure. Because oh. he doesn't he doesn't add a any factories. Oh, okay. He has a third. Yeah, he's got that third and he is adding on factories now. So we're going to take this late. As you said on Paradiso, this is a late game map for TVT. Things are going to get split down the middle here and this position most likely will not get taken over by ultra anytime soon so that six o'clock is going to go to him that easy fourth base uh, behind this defensive position this is going to be very very strong and ultra moving around the top side do you just uh when you see this position do you just move around the top side and try to block terror into four bases or is he going to try and run in here well that answers my question. Ultra going to start to push forward, but the moment that he sees all these tanks set up and in position, he's just going to back away. Uh, yeah, can you contain, like, send tanks over to the other high ground position on the horizontal and hold terror on four bases? Is that even going to be worth it right there? Um, not at the fourth, uh, at nine o'clock, I believe, mm. but uh, he can contain the center and took the top right of his map it will be a long game it will be tough but uh there's pretty much uh, high probability for that continue but right now terror uh ultra is trying to backstab terror and he finds himself uh, as a terror in the pretty good position let's see yeah ultra he's gonna give his best shot here Heading down towards this base. He's fighting down from the high ground, but he's on low ground right now. So no uh, high ground mischance. 
and he's outside of range of the actual CC. We need to see a scan come down for Terra so he can actually hit this, and he does kill off that one tank that's in range. This is a, a kind of a scary outpost right now. I think Ultra would do well to unsiege and set up everything on that high ground to be a little bit more uh, defensible that position. Try to hold Terror back from taking more bases in the top left while he expands over into the top right. A bunch of wraiths here for Terror. Big transition into huge wraith numbers. I thought he was going to go for another dropship, but he's continuing to build wraiths, just slowly building up that with just one starport. I thought there might have been more, but one starport at a time, and Terror's found the hole. He's actually going to move through the middle. Oh no, Ultra attacking this high ground. Terror going to react with his tanks. Pretty good fight here for Terror, considering he's got the high ground. Big mine connection on two tanks, picking those off. Running forward with some vultures, trying to get on top of those tanks. But Ultra and Terror have found themselves in a bit of a stalemate situation. Neither player able to claim the high ground just yet. But rallies are still coming forward here. Terror going to bring his army to the south side. And now finally going to reveal his wraiths. Four wraiths here are absolutely insane. They do so much for pushing back a tank position like this. And Ultra has, again, refused to produce any Goliath. So he's going to be pushed out of this spot here. Almost 100%. No way to hold this right now as Ultra. He's going to be pushed away from this high ground. And he worked so hard to take this. He's going to have to seed it back to Terror. Yeah, both players are pretty efficient with money they collect. And they almost have 100 or 200 gas at the same time. And Ultra is... Is gonna be uh, another bust. Another bust. Will another bust coming up here? The vultures running up on top of this. The tanks of terror are very stacked up, but they're on high ground. The high ground advantage making a big difference. Oh, the cloak as well. If he targets down this last uh, Goliath, he can reign supreme here in the air. Gonna kill more tanks. There's only two tanks left over in the natural four. Ultra and terror is bearing down. Big supply advantage right now. There's no counter damage that can be done by Ultra either. There's so many tanks over here at the third base. Defending the fourth base has been taken. Fourth base for Ultra is up as well. But the position, you cannot say that, uh, you know, Terra is in a bad position right now. His spot there on the high ground is looking fantastic. And now he's coming around with the race here to the top side. I love this play from Terra. He's being so proactive with his wraiths. Tracking down these tanks. Gunning them all down right now. He's going to try and mount this high ground once again, but this is just a desperation play, I think, from Ultra. And Terra's going to unsiege everything. The tanks on the left hand side have been fr freed up from defending the third base, and they're bearing down on Ultra. Now he's going to siege up just outside the range of all of these mines, but he targets oh, his tanks all target these uh, the, the, the vultures there. The vultures got targeted really heavily. Instead of hitting these tanks, and Ultra actually takes a relatively good trade, but it's not good enough, I think. Terra is in range of the CC, and Ultra just doesn't have what it takes to break this. So many wraiths here present for Terra. He's going to start to kill all the tanks that remain, and with that, the next rally should be able to overcome this position. Terra is going to take this base away, and he should be able to secure this win. Yeah, so many tanks. I don't know how it's possible to hold that and even he even has five rays well it looks like ultra got a bit of adrenaline with his last attack to trying to deblock the bridge and right now gg gg ultra taps out terror takes a win putting himself ahead in that series great use of the wraiths and ultra he worked so hard to break that position oh he worked so hard to break that position in the middle of the map, that high ground. And the Wraith play was just the perfect counter, pushing everything back. And yeah, I, I, guess, I, was, uh, I guess I was right. That high ground was so important in the middle of the map. It ended up winning the game for Terror. We've still got plenty more to come here. More TVT is coming up. I need to take a little break, though. Zero. Okay, quick break here, guys. We'll be right back.
Resolve his personal issues, human issues. Yes. Okay, so we are ready to go, and the fourth map. Oh, excuse me. It's fourth, right? It's, yeah, fourth map. Fourth map is Champion, which is a remake of an old school map, Challenger. Do you remember the Challenger map? Like, when you when you just installed the brood water there is nothing more in the future. Made by Blizzard. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> okay. So Ultra. Like uh, I was sitting in front of him uh, and just trying to lose his system. So, I hope that you'll be able to be up in the game again. Okay, so in the bottom right. Our Chilean player Gosu Gosu game, and in the up left corner we have Red Terran Terror. By the way, Spix, uh, how old? I mean, when do you, when did you learn about the? Yeah, when did you learn about the uh, Terror? Like when the first time you faced him, say online somewhere, ladder maybe. Like ten years ago, ten years ago, even more next. Right, okay. Because I, I mean, I mean, I cannot recall him back from WCG time. Like, not even that he qualified. He didn't actually, uh, and. I don't remember him from some, uh, you know, the local, like, Latin American qualifications, like Chilean or Peruvian, whatever. But okay, okay, so let's say he's relatively a new school, if it's possible to say about the Sarkov. Okay, yeah, yeah. Even the youngest one, they're, like, already over 30, so okay. And yeah, you, 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 you did recall the guy, he's here, he's here. So he, he was, like, playing yesterday, the guy who, like, really looks like our father, you know. It's a pretty fun game. Yeah. Okay, so back to the game. Uh, we have the first scan, and we have Ultra like knows. I mean, Ultra knows where is the po opponent because it's a dual map. You 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 know it from from when you start the game. But still, he now wants to look and to learn what what Terra is preparing for this game. No sound from SPX. Wow. How how is it called? That's why. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We will fix that. Uh, right. As you can see, Terror is already has a little bit advantage because he made factory maybe ten seconds faster. And we. Uh, wh what's behind that? What's behind? I mean, clearly Ultra did not like misclick or something made. So what's what's behind the strategy? Why do you make factory that earlier? Well, maybe you want to, uh, to want you want to build a super fast full watcher and bust with three marines, four marines, and uh, take a little bit advantage. It depends on the opponent's build, uh, but uh, right now it's uh, it's not a su um, super good advantage. Uh, just a bit of confidence in the build by the terror. So. So it's it's perfectly okay when you you use that build and at the same time you're taking your natural right away. So you you're making expansion. Is it like solid choice from the other side? Mm. Solid choice? You mean by 
building a new command center with uh, that build? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you are preparing for some sort of an aggression. You make the factory before your opponent, and then, despite of that, you are taking your natural right away. So you are making something to aggress, to 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 make it, to be aggressive. At the same time, you expand. Yeah, this it, this is a standard thing uh, with uh, TVT right now. So you may uh, you make common center, uh, and if you want to be aggressive, you collect vultures and attack right immediately. And this is what happens with Terror. He made a surprise, and Ultra is not ready for that. He already delayed the common center. Uh, looks like he will beat that vulture and he the most important thing he will see what is ultra is, what, what ultra is doing right now well that's a pretty nice um com coming out <laughs> yeah 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 that that, 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 that that that's an advantage clearly like we have seen we have seen the terror uh took down two scvs one was building the common center the second was building a factory so all the, although this is not an immediately GG, but th that's sort of an advantage anyway. Okay, so now we see the the dropship. The uh, right. will maybe a dropship or the cloaked right? What what you bet for? Well, dropship won't do an anything. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that, that's the answer. Right. Okay. Thanks much. Thanks much for clarifying, Terror. And by the way, <laughs> if any of you would may think. Like the guys can hear the commentary, they're not, they're not. So we, we, we have made a setup that they're like perfectly okay. So that's that's not a sort of a sound hack or something. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder what what lead uh, Terror to uh, for this decision to cancel the addition, additional building of the starport. Don't know what is name after 20 years of playing. Oh, never mind. And right now, He's gonna hit the timing, maybe timing before mines are ready for ultra. Hmm, that's pretty ballsy move by Terror. Maybe I may. Well, I think maybe Terror was betting for um, some sort of a clock vulture aggression. Then he realized that wouldn't work out anyway. But he still he still progressed to build his uh, air fleet. You know. And the, as far as I know, in TVT, the, the, the thing with an air fleet, whenever you are first and you take an advantage, then you just stop building them. And then eventually it, it may happen that the opponents start building them and you, you will get in like a in good situation somehow. But anyway, so what we can see now that these vultures work out in stopping the any sort of aggression from Ultra. His vultures have been beaten so far so good. And what's an up, uh, zero? What's about the upgrades? Does any of them build the uh, upgrades? I mean, the fact, uh, the the armory. Do you have it? Uh, okay, we cannot. Okay, right. Okay, I, I can see that. No, no upgrades still. Well, I thought I really thought that in activity the plus two for your tanks is the. Mm, number one choice but i don't see like even ultra he made the, the armory he doesn't build upgrades what would you say about that spx well i don't think nowadays you should uh, rush with upgrades uh, in a tvt because this game is pretty strange and you have rights uh, from terror and you need a lot of gas to build tanks and rights and upgrades won't help against rights uh so right now both players choose to play aggressively. Yeah, and we see a good contain from Terror actually right now, and he's using his vultures to to lose them. Yeah, but <laughs> that that was not the intention. He, he was he's using them to stop, uh, to stop the mines. So far, the contain is very solid. Uh, I just I just really hope that he does not lose his tanks, and if he continue to crawl in like that eventually he will be able to hit the natural expansion and if he kill them that's instantly gg yes and right now ultra is coming with scvs to the block and what is happening if some vultures helping ultra will he the block the natural well at the cost of a lot of scvs but yeah looks like some tanks one tank 
can do so much damage when sieged and ultra is save his own two tanks okay he even prepared well that's, that's pretty good for ultra but it's even better for terror because he is near the natural and can control and roll the next stages of the game what do you think ultra is gonna do well, uh, one of the options may, of course, be uh, dropship uh, harassment, some kind of vultures off top. But I, I don't think I have seen them playing already, and I have seen them uh, practice in a bit. So I, I don't expect some air fleet support, only the ground crawling, you know, all this old school stuff. Uh, okay, so no tanks, no tanks from Terra right now. So literally, what we what we can see that Ultra is actually uh, beaten off this uh, you know this uh, containment. So so far he is quite good, provided that his tanks do not blow out right now. Yeah, and that's exactly the time that both players need to build his those third CCs, and we see that Terror is already at the finishing his command center, but Ultra. Uh, uh, Ultra doesn't have a third CT, maybe in production? No, no, even in his main, he just started. Okay, so definitely it won't be like Game on Luna, where Ultra is gonna bust the terrors and looks like Ultra is not have a lot of adrenaline and he has the patience he needed to continue the game and he's doing the right thing, I hope the both players will continue to show their base game as they show right now. That's for sure. They are fighting for the goods and we can see that this small mine actually already won a little bit of a moment. Uh, you cannot put the command center right where you would like to be. Also, we have seen that Terror is preparing the uh, ace in his sleeve. He's making the cloak for the vultures. He's continue building vultures. I think when he will have like five or six, he may be able to attack immediately uh, to the mining line, for example. I didn't see any uh, turrets or something from Ultra side, so that that may caught him off guard quite much. So far, we see the five factories. Three of them are with the uh, the machine shops, so we, we like three tanks simultaneously. You can build them. Okay, so I can see that uh, the. Ultra just started an upgrade from the sh machine shop. I would bet it's uh, the Goliath thing. So it seems to me that uh, Ultra made a scan and hit exactly where uh, uh, hit exactly where the starport with the attachment port, uh, has been built. So he can see all this stuff. So maybe he will be well prepared and this will not work out. But we will see. Yeah. Uh and at the current time, Ultra is trying to to take a p good position to not uh, let Terror take his fourth gas. It's pretty important, and looks like he's he succeeded with that. And even with um, this position, he can shoot to the mineral patches. And right now, wow, there is counter attack by Terror. Looks like we have the same situation where Terror is gonna bust the third and but oh that that's not a super good positioning there's only tanks and a lot of wow a lot of SCVs just SCVs are strong even in TVT just three tanks left and what is happening uh, on the Terror side uh, Ultra unexpectedly fourth right oh my god. How is this possible? But Ultra has a one Goliath. Will he lose the command center? It will be disaster for Terror. Uh, command center. Okay, he flew away. Let's see. Uh, right now we have pretty similar situation, but Ultra is still mining he from his mineral patches. This one goal of one defend all those tanks, so eventually all those tanks will be lost by Ultra. And right now, this is the same mistake that Terror is doing. It's oh, there's just two tank. He... Terror e eager wants to get back with uh, killing the third 
common center uh, with mineral from ultra but he's not succeeding do you, what do you think is right now happening Kirill? well uh <coughs> what i can see from here that uh the ultra has a definite advantage in the mineral production and so uh, it, because of ultra could not uh, wasn't able to kick off one of the production by base that may be a problem for him in the long run actually yeah and right now terror is trying to check uh is it for fourth gas for ultra i don't know maybe his can't already know that but he sees that he probably saw that uh turret already in production and he refused to continue to fly with race and it uh, looks like right now we have a pretty similar situation uh i mean for for economy and for army for both players yeah terror has a, a little bit of advantage with supplies but uh in the end, Ultra is mining from his fourth gas uh, much longer than Terror. Um, will he contain the center? No. Or maybe yes. Let's see. <laughs> the funny story I just saw in the chat that some of the guys he he used the caster's command and eventually he got like Ni Nioka and his Razor casting. So yeah, yeah, we 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 are like. Um, we mutated a bit, you know, so that, that that's a bit of a problem for, for those who are trying this this chat command. Okay, back to the game. Um, the Terror is trying to advance once more on the same uh, mining production base. So he, he's trying to uh, get from the higher ground. No, he just stopped right there. Yeah, because he saw the counter offensive from Ultra. So he just tried to uh, sit tight there and try to... Uh, hold off as many tanks as possible, but eventually I can see that Ultra actually lost not a single tank Not a single one Maybe an Air Force will take one or two not 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 much of that and the turret is here So no, it's it, it, it's, it's gonna be a safe Cool that that's well, that's cool. Did you see that delay with, with turret? Yeah, yeah, I have seen that I have seen that well, you know Blizzard was making some coding stuff when they made the remaster so this is what we have yeah looks like ultra is uh, ultra saved a lot of tanks but uh terror has somehow he, he uh has a lot of tanks himself but will he, will terror uh, attack the fourth time as he, as he did the uh to the mineral patch i don't know but his plan looks like is to contain the fourth and won't let the ultra i mean fifth yeah i i think he's really afraid of ultra uh, taking what the ah. he's really afraid that the ultra e will take an upper hand in production uh from what i learned when they were chatting and discussing the stuff i i like i don't speak spanish too much but yeah that that's uh something i could uh get a grasp a little bit uh, like uh, terror admits that in the long run if he will be uh, a runner-up in the production he may get lost he may, he may lost eventually so ultra is like and we clearly see it from here uh terror is trying so hard to push at least one base and eventually he like he fails everywhere but anyway it's still it's still not a decided game and what about the upgrades? Uh, can we see like two here and yeah, and two? Okay, so right, okay. So th this is where the advantage is coming from. The second upgrade, the upper hand on upgrades. When you have the tanks plus two against the tanks plus one, that's a huge deal. You just kill the tank not from three shots, but from two. Eventually, it's not just one upgrade. It's a plus 50% of advantage. That's, that's really huge. Oh, wow. That's a good man. Okay. Tank saved. Okay. Yeah, and you, as, as you can see, Ultra uh, understands that he has uh, advantage with upgrades, and he tried to contain uh, as as many um, as as much map as he can. Uh, he already in the center, and I think he will proceed to do it more further to, uh, for for the to the to the terror's main. But looks like terror has a lot of SCVs. As, as you can see, the uh, second command center is already mined out and he has a lot of SCVs right there doing nothing uh, but 
Ultra is completely fine. Uh, his uh, saturation is perfect and he's not overbuilt built, uh, as CVs. By the way, at this stage, Aspix, what would we say? Like, we see that uh, the map is... Well, let's, let's extrapolate. It's almost 50-50% divided. We can see that the limits are close to 200. Do you think, do you expect something like to switch to battle cruisers or something like that? Well, oh my god, there's four dropship, but answering your questions, I think uh, it's pretty... Um, it's high probability, but uh, it depends on uh, how both players would, um, would, would use the gas they have, because right now uh, all gas is uh, they they are not spending gas. They uh, from the game, uh, I don't see that both players trying to contain each other. They are trying to find uh, um, um, bad bad places and use the advantage of that in inaccuracies maybe. Uh, so far, strategically, the game appears to be more or less stabilized. Uh, we can see like the siege tanks here and there. Nobody is really. Nobody is really able to crawl up and to grab some some space by the ground. So what terror? What was terror response to that? He actually built the drop ships. Now I would expect a drop somewhere to like uh, seven hours or three hours base of Ultra. That may be huge. But right now we can see the progress from Ultra. He's taken uh, an upper hand. So he yeah he kicked all the terror's tanks i don't i don't i i cannot recognize if terror has something in his dropships or everything is on the ground yeah he just unloaded that yeah that's pretty tough um uh, for a terror if, if he gonna play dropship play like the terror does right now because gas is precious and uh, there could be four tanks additional and it will be so much di uh so much difficult to defend this from and Tanks are plummeting. Uh, there is no tanks from Terror, and uh, Ultra is gonna make it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we can see just what uh, Terror was uh, a, a little bit afraid of about the Ultra. That if Ultra would get an upper hand in the production, we can see it right now that the Ultra is crawling up and is. Well, he really contained terror. He like sits exactly where you would love to siege your tanks. You can, yeah, from one perspective, the siege tanks can be attacked from three points, but at the second time, you just control the whole exit of uh, the red terror. And here is what we see: when such a containment holds off, you just can perfectly attack here and there, kicking the SCVs, taking off the bases. So this is what where we see. The game is going right now. From this point, I would be like very, very much brave to make a bet on terror. It's still not a decided game, of course, but that's a huge, really huge advantage from Ultra. He's making really good job. He killed all, all, yeah, all SCVs on the nine hours base. He's killing all SCVs. He, he, he finished all the common center on the mineral base only. So far, so good. That should really be a huge, huge progress from him. He can win the game here. Okay, we can see... Oh, that's the base save. These should be the tanks that could have made a huge advantage on t uh, on Ultra if dropped somewhere at 7 o'clock. But they... Now they have to do nothing but to defend against the Ultra attack. And Ultra is preparing for another move. He's just crawling up to the natural base of the Red Terran. Yeah, one tank in five dropships won't do much uh, for Terror. And right now we have only three tanks defending the unstoppable army from Ultra. And... Actually, wow, those dropships, I think that's a crucial mistake by Terror. But that's a good choice, that's a good choice, like uh, Ultra, he traded maybe six Goliaths, three, four out of six Goliaths for four dropships, that's a huge move, because these dropships, that was the the only, I would really say, the only advantage Terror had, and he lost even that. So, so far we have like three producing base against one, two, three, four producing base, and much higher amount of uh, factories 
Again, the advantage in upgrade, it just disappeared, but still, well, I don't, I don't even know how you can stop it. Okay, SPX, from this point, let's say you're playing Terror and you're playing, I don't know, like 1,000 bucks game. What would you do here? What would you try to do at least? Is there any chance? Well, if, it's, uh, if it will be 1,000 game, I will try to convince my opponent uh, to split the money. But this is not the case. Okay, some corrupted strategies here. They always work, of course. But this is, well, jokes off. This is how dire the situation really is at this point. But, well, good shot. Just uh, ultras making very good. You, yeah, you can see on the on the uh, top right corner just what is the situation. 100 minerals against 2,000 and an advantage in the gas. A huge, enormous advantage in limits, like 76 against 200. What can I say from here? Yeah, we are just... Uh, we are just looking to receive a GG from any moment. And here GG. is it. Okay, and I will leave you from here for a brief moment. I will. I have to help Terror to pick up... Oh, no. The last map will be rush hour. He has, not, he has to pick from nothing. Yeah, it's a rush hour. Uh, давай закончим все-таки ТВТ и покушаем. Пусть, пусть закончим. Пусть закончим ТВТ, что сделаем паузу. We were discussing if we are going to пожрать и бить or, or, or finish off the game. I think we should, we should finish the game and then have a meal break, short meal break. Сам пожрать, yeah, сам пожрать и попить. Uh, and and then it will be Bonith against Zero. Zero, are you ready to kick Bonith's ass? Yeah, I had idea to 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 put him something to the water when we when he was sleeping, but I couldn't find anything which would help me. Yeah, but um, I'm expecting that I will lose zero three. But if I will lose one to three, it will be I will be very happy. So corrupted strategies are okay for you. Of course, yeah, that, that's how I win. I'm still waiting for your energy juice drink for the right, Russian the, the, athletes. Uh, yeah, 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 Russian athletes drink, yeah. yes, okay. <laughs> okay, so if the players are ready, the player seems to be ready. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and start the new game. Fighting! Fighting! Okay, 2-2, two, two, the decision game on near rush hour <coughs> and at the 3 o'clock at the right side of the map we see blue Terran Ultra and in the bottom left corner red Terran Terror from Peru fighting right now. What was the distribution for the prize pool? What, what the money? What's the money they're fighting for? It's like 200 or something for this fourth place at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just maybe like 30 bucks, 40 bucks for the... It's it's called uh, tourist prize pool for, for top eight, yeah. yeah. And looks like we now have a decider match, a TVT uh, from best players from South America at least. And who's gonna be the winner, what will they do, what strategy will, will they use. But this map actually is pretty nice for mass dropships. Maybe Terror did some... Um, maybe Terror already played in, in his mind uh, last game when he started doing dropships. <laughs> I remember huge games back from OSL times when Koreans are, were playing on Rush Hour. Well, as basically for me... Right, okay, 300 for top four, right, okay. Thanks much, Zero, he just helped me to check up the price pool. I, I really love this map myself because of the how you are able to attack. You actually, you do not have something like main entrance. You have like two entrances at the same time. So that makes you some weird and, well, unique strategies which you will not see from in, in, in different maps. At the, same, uh, at the same time, you don't see some big center like on Luna. On Luna it's just a huge, massive space in the center where huge battles are going on. But here we can see sort of a relatively narrow passages, which make, I, well, that may be a map for a one hour TVT. What would you say? I would say that's a hyper probability of that. And definitely 
uh, the decide decide I think will be what the strat what strategy will they choose for now? Will it be fast common center or will they do two fuck as a first two games? I don't know. It's pretty tough for both games right now because it's deciding. They both understand that it's, uh, um, it's, it's yeah. Please continue. Sure. What what we can see right now and uh, uh, that both players collected just enough gas 100 gas to uh to to start production of the factory so what that means that uh the next building they will they will try to build uh, will be the common center actually so both are going for a macro build no early aggression no shit stuff uh everyone both players know what the opponent is doing so nothing hidden well you you can of course do something hidden from here but that will not be as a huge advantage as if you started like for example two factory push right away so at this point that simply should not work yeah immediate machine shop from terror wow he's not he, he doesn't like vultures much yeah he skipped a vulture right away and he started to building machine shop so like we see the 150 gas uh, well, uh, yeah, so we, we, we may even expect the siege mod right away from the machine. Yeah, tank first, tank first, right, okay. Yeah, tank first, maybe uh, the second factory with the follow-up of butchers with mice to contain a, a part of the path to Ultra's main. Mm, we'll see what it's going to do. But the crucial thing is that uh, Terror killed scouting SCV from Ultra and Ultra didn't get up to the main of uh, the opponent of the terror so right now Ultra doesn't know is it uh, uh, does terror ha has uh, a, a vulture or he skipped the vulture this is the crucial part uh, this is why Ultra is holding his vultures inside near his main and terror uh, trying to use that uh, information, I think, uh, and uh, already see, waiting for the vultures and maybe starting to prepare to early aggression. I really love how Terror moved his tank and uh, marines away from the potential uh, potential line of the flying barracks. That's well, that's that's a solid move. That's what we would usually expect in a ZVZ game when you know the trajectory of the Overlord and you're trying to pass by with the links and stuff but you don't often see that in the other matchups and here well that's definitely something uh some of these small points is something that define you as a good player or as a best player against just normal cb run players as you can see we have only one tank from ultra and it's pretty tough situation because Sarah has a, a super good micro and uh, he oh well he just blocked a little path um right now uh terror building a lot of vultures will be mines yeah it will be mines even one goliath so ultra did try to well it's super tough for ultra right now will he send the scvs to defend from this oh, oh the huge God. move the huge move. bold move from ultra he made so good he just uh, sacrificed his Goliath and uh, in exchange for a tank. So I, I really commend for this move. And I really love the terrorist move of uh, these aggressive barracks when you, you sacrifice your barrack potentially, but you don't care because you, you really win like two, three, five seconds of moving the tank. That may eventually in that such situation be a GG, who knows? And it appears to me how the, ma how, how, how the game progress uh, that we, are not going to see some something like one hour TVT. They they really want to finish off the game right now, right here. Well, maybe it it all depends on what how Ultra will deblock this because it's already two tanks with siege and Ultra doesn't have a siege himself. Um, wow, I don't know so many minds. Will he will he suicide his Goliath again? Maybe he have uh, Moran somewhere in, in the main i don't think so it wouldn't work here i'm afraid because at the when he made it first time it was perfect timing because the terror didn't have 
the siege mode yet and now the tanks the two tanks are in siege mode so one of them is attacking the common center and another is just covering up so if you will move something like marine or goliath they will got killed easy, as easy as that yeah and right now terror has a starport and the ultra oh looks like we try we have a micro battle here yeah, Siege mode appeared for T Ultra and he finally tr uh, trying, he decided that that's a perfect time to de block and to attack uh, Terror's tanks. He knows very well that he cannot move very far because the mines are here and if, imagine, you lose three tanks simultaneously at some uh, crazy move, that's an instant GG. He knows that well and he knows that that's a deciding game. Whoever wins goes to round of four, whoever loses goes to, I, I would not say goes to home, but goes to water park or whatever amusement. Oh, Terror already had, uh, already lost two units, two precious units. Uh, the tank is uh, pretty much uh, expensive in, the, in this situation. Yeah, he moved a, a little bit out, uh, um, a, a little bit far from the base of Ultra, uh, explaining that uh, t telling us that he won't proceed further because there's al already much tanks so the terror is gonna try to block ultra from moving out as much as he can and uh, in this situation actually terror already has maybe one or two dropships will he and it will be a super super good situation for terror because uh, there is uh, a perfect space as you can see from uh, our with the whole game right the perfect timing to move out with your scvs and uh, just siege up your tanks and start deploying and i i really loved how ultra controls like this peaky one you know this pixel perfect move for his vulture that's that's really something gross i well that's not often you can see that. Again, again, the sacrifice of your Goliath, but this time for nothing. Yeah, impressive micro by Ultra. He's trying his best to kill all, all those tanks, but there's only two. Uh, maybe all Ultra's tanks are, are red, because it's all, he can already beat all this oh my god terror all again oh, losing gro gross move of tank i just wanted to ask you that i w wanted to tell you that the uh terror was still trying to move his tanks to this containment line i was trying i was about to ask you like is this anywhere where is it is does it have any value like he, he should move back and here you are he lost another tank so right now ultra has a huge advantage by by the way I'm just imagine, do you, as a blue Terran, need to take off like, I don't know, 12 SCVs and go finish off your opponent right away? Is this any, does it have any value or you just should contain and slowly crawl? What would be your choice? You are uh, considered, at least here on this land, as, you know, aggressive Terran. Yeah, well, right now we can see the dropship of Terror with the tank and the tow vultures, uh, some harassment of the economy. This is not going to be very huge, but still, it's something. It's something to uh, to win time at the very least. Yeah, Terror is so good at, at dropships, but um, and right now, Ultra is the one who is who has the third. But uh, answering your questions, this is actually a goal, uh, old strategy nowadays. You won't you won't see that often because uh, it's two wide open maps and uh, too far from each opponent but you can use it uh, while deblock deblocking for, from containment but it's it's rare to see right yeah I got the point I got the point so yeah uh, as long we, we are playing this um, game for so long that you know these small moves how to kill and win here and there like let's say wind the clock back like 17 years not many could micro the uh, mutas. It was like a top one skill. Now any C ranker can do that. And look at that terror! Just with one dropship, uh, got ultras tanks. A lot of tanks in the main. He can't defend with that. And looks like we have a situation where the ultra is. Uh, 
I'm not sure, not ready for this. Yeah, that's uh, that appears to be a huge, a bold move from uh, Terror in the way that he built uh, these uh, vultures with the clock at the perfect moment, and, and you 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 can just see how the uh, this you know the game is was just in Terror's favor in the beginning, then it was in Ultra's favor, and now we can see a huge battle happening right now with. Well, not a clear outcome, but again, Terror appears to have an upper hand again. Oh, oh, oh. did you see that? Terror uh, has an indecisive move. Uh, he wasn't sure should should he siege or attack, and some seconds were passed. A little bit mistake, but still he has advantage right now. Two tanks and no tanks from Ultra. Will he he finish this right now or will it be a long two hour TVT? What do you think? <laughs> well, we will see. Uh, the If it was a game with the equal amount of bases, uh, that would be a de an easy decision for me. But here, what I must to point out that uh, Ultra has a, a plus one base. Yeah, the vultures are there. So the the economy is dying, but still this base was working for quite a while, and yeah, we we can see like it, he has already mined enough to cover up the cost of this base. But yeah, again, minus SCVs, inflation, inflation, sort of, yeah. Okay, and right now Terror has a perfect position. He has a vision with Rice. He can uh, he forced Ultra to build more goliaths and right now terror just contain and there's nothing ultra can do right now maybe build a lot of uh, factories right now try to to attack but it will be hard maybe uh, maybe now we will see an <coughs> attack that you're eager to see or maybe not eager to just ask that with a lot of SCVs, maybe one pack or something yeah, but at this point I don't think it will have any value uh, because uh, the terror, terror has more tanks he's going to build up the engineering base so the turrets are coming so you will not be able to use any air force again Terror has an air force advantage he has a base advantage well at this point of course Terror has huge huge desire to win this game and a huge opportunity for sure yeah, even though we have not a big difference with supplies and looks like Ultra trying to micro this out just like he did before, but there's a good containment by Terror. He has a perfect, almost perfect straight line of tanks and how to deal with that? That's a good question that no one can answer. Maybe Terror has already two oh, up upgrades, it would be even worse, but that's not the case. Yeah, but we have a full pack of siege tanks uh, around the natural base of Blue Terran, and Ultra has just seven. So yeah, like, plus two are coming, but anyway, what, what, what do you do with the vultures? Yeah, you have a scan, but so, so what? Like, he scanned, he saw them, he, he, he cannot kill them, and this is... A, exactly the force you will need to at least hold the containment for another minute or at most win the game immediately yeah Terra understands that he has a big advantage and all he need to do is nothing actually but ultra is trying is is trying to micro and he in behind his he's main he's building a wraith maybe to catch some tanks out of guard and later on the, on the stage to move out but terror is in so good position he even builds a f maybe a f uh, fourth base now ultra will realize that he is a bit <coughs> behind because <coughs> they're already a third gas for terror and with a amount of tanks terror has uh, in front of the base of ultra mm, so tough position for ultra the worst point is that uh, when Ultra had an advantage in the base, uh, Terror was still able was able to uh, uh, make a harassment with his vultures. But here we see exactly the opposite. Terror is sitting where the 
Terran would want to see it in TVT. He containing his opponent. He allows nothing to slip through. So he just what 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 would you do here? You just you know mine the whole base and build whatever you want. You have an advantage everywhere. And we can see the plus four vultures. You can you can build vultures. You can build uh, tanks. And here the tanks are coming. Just a gross position and wow. Uh, that may be some desperate attack from Ultra or and some huge amount of luck or he will be just dying and we, we can see that in the production line in the limit line wow just he should he should come out right now or he he will not ever yeah uh, we just saw a funny moment uh, with micro uh ultra tried to kill some tanks maybe his plan is uh to kill to to destroy uh at least few tanks so he he, he maybe to gain some advantage in uh, amount of tanks but terror is already has reinforcements uh ready and I, as soon this tank uh will be sieged there's no way for ultra to come out i think oh and we see the gg okay terror advanced to round of four and he play tomorrow and we will have a brief uh, pause, I think, Zero, from here. Maybe for like half an hour. We'll have a short meal break. And after that, we will cast your game. I think that ZVP, I may be a little bit more experienced in that matchup, actually. Very good. Very good. Thank you, guys, and see you in half an hour.